Hello, hello. Hi. Thank you for joining. Welcome, welcome. To Milano in summer. It's empty. Hi, Tommy. Hey. Ciao. Hey, Renato. Hi, Tommy. Good afternoon. It's, oh, sorry. Andrew in Milano. They are going very fast around the city. Hello, ciao. Roman Empire is back. Yes. This is the Sforza Castle in the city center of Milano, inside the city. Hello, hi, good morning, good afternoon, guys. Milano is full of this, guys. Good morning, how are you today? Fatti vedere, cosa vuoi? Hi, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Milano. It's a very hot, warm, but windy. Hello, hi. Barb, hi. Welcome to Milano. We are, it's a lazy Sunday. People are day but little windy so it's okay we are just in front of the Sforza castle sono spagnolo e voglio imparare l'italiano hola bienvenido hi new york it's a beautiful day they go on scooter i don't you know i don't think they're safe so hi from ireland you gave me up during this pandemic thank you you're very welcome very welcome Things are getting better, but not, it's not over, also here. Hello, Pittsburgh. Welcome to Milano. Welcome to Milano. Milano, it's empty because people, after the lockdown, uh, are on uh, smart working. So they work from outside. Who uh, has a second house outside Milano in the countryside at the sea? They left Milano. I watched your reply and took your advice. I'm really happy to hear that. Thank you. Now the situation, COVID situation, it's getting better, but it's not over. We need to wait until September to know. By the way, now here, that's the Sforza Castle. And uh, inside, bacio, ciao. Inside this castle, we have Leonardo and uh, Michelangelo, one close to another. That's the main entrance. Hello, good afternoon. Good to see you. Thank you. Welcome. It's a lovely, lovely day, as you can see. Good to see you. Some tourists are around. Um, well, I don't think they are tourists, uh, Barb. Uh, mainly they are, um, you know, people that work here in Milano. And because it's uh, Sunday, they enjoy the day. But I, I don't think there are tourists in this day. Here we will have a concert in the night, as you can see. They are setting up, preparing for a concert. That's the main court. Very beautiful. And basically, sorry if I don't see very well. Hey, ciao, ciao. I stayed safe because of your scope. Behind Milan in weeks, I know. I know, guys. And now the situation here seems under control, but I don't think it is yet. We just are waiting. But... Uh, we need to wait until September to know if, if, if a second wave, wave will come. But, you know, you're missing, I'm missing your comment. Uh, yes, Tommy, maybe yes, because it's, uh, I don't see very well. Oh, horses. Let me go here. Mm. Very beautiful. Police. 
beautiful horses. So, maybe some of you can remember, just in front of us, there is the museum. I was telling you the Ninja Turtle were named after Italian artists. Really? <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> the Ninja Turtles. I have to check, Tommy, I don't know. Maybe some of you remember it here in front of us there is uh, the museum of uh, um, the last work of Michelangelo Buonarroti is the Pietà Rondanini the last work uh, of Michelangelo which is uh, informal a beautiful sculpture and uh, just there inside there is a museum and there is a beautiful room with a fresco of Leonardo. So in this castle we have a fresco of Leonardo and the last work of Michelangelo, just 10, you know, walks one from the other. Hello from South Carolina, hello, beautiful architect, very elegant. It's a very beautiful castle. This is the castle of uh, uh, Sforza Castle, of our Renaissance. Buongiorno, hello everyone. Uh, someone asked me about my work. I can see very well who is it. Um, Maribon, ciao, ciao. It's going very, 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 very well. Just show you around the beautiful Sforza Castle. That's the main entrance. Very elegant. And uh, I want to show you the museum. And... Uh, and the court where also the, the Leonardo's drones are. But inside today everything is closed. That was water in the past. Now they say that uh, inside the castle during the night there are ghosts going around. It's very cool, yeah. That's the beautiful museum where the uh, Leonardo fresco is, but today it's closed. You see inside here. Basically, this is uh, the museum. It's this part here. You go inside, you have two floors, and this is the, all the rooms of the museum. Anarchist groups are tearing down near. It's a shame, I know. I know, guys, there are things in this world that are not, world that are not going so good. As I told you, you have the last work of Michelangelo and the fresco of Leonardo very close, one from another. Hello from France, hello everybody. Today it's, everything is closed, but uh, if, you, if you come to Milano, this place is worth a visit. And it's inside, you know, in the city center, very beautiful. The court that I prefer, very hot today. Sorry. Here there is a bar. And uh, you see this court, uh, it's one, one of my, the, the most. La Pietà Rondanini, sorry, exactly. Pietà Rondanini, it's in Rome. And this is, uh, sorry, uh, this is the last, um, the last work of Michelangelo here. Watch, I don't know if you see. Are the art museums uh, open again? Yes, but you have to go, uh, you know, some people at the t every time. You have to uh, book in advance. You see, th that's the court where Leonardo, the museum of Leonardo, and uh, 
uh, they told me that uh, Leonardo invented an instrument, which is in this, there is a, a music museum inside here, and uh, you can visit the museum, and there are also, there is a code of Leonardo here inside. It's a lovely, lovely court because Leonardo lived here, you know, lived here and uh, under the Sforza family, the Lord of Italy. Thank you, life, uh, life uh, color, life better. Thank you. This area, it's a favorite of mine. Thank you very much for the super heart. So inside here, there is uh, the, um, it's the Tribune library, Civic uh, Historic Archive and Tribulziana Library, there is, uh, you can find uh, Leonardo's code inside here. Once I did a scope inside here, but was three years ago. Bramantino, here, it's very beautiful, I love this court. Of, of course it uh, was restored. But I think it's really lovely and I love the details, you see. Beautiful details uh, with, uh, for example, the stemma of the Sforza family. And uh, I think it's very, very beautiful. Today I was uh, in Milano. It's a very hot day and I decided to come here, il biscione, che poi in realtà ho scoperto che il vero simbolo della città di Milano, il biscione, arriva dal Medioevo e poi c'è tutta una storia pazzesca ed è in un palazzo, Piazza Mercanti. Hello from Chicago, welcome, welcome to the Sforza Castle. Look at the beauty, you see, that's the original facade they restored it I don't know if you see the details some places are but the real one was this one you see it's very beautiful and the uh, And here we are heading to the, to, the, to the museum. Let's see. So here is written, what is it? The extensive work carried out on the castle in, 12, uh, in 2012 led to uncovering of the richly decorated walls and ceiling of the porticos of Rocchetta Courtyard. So this is the Rocchetta Courtyard. It's called like that. Quanta storia, veramente? Io il castello sforzesco lo amo tantissimo, mi piace molto. È come camminare nel tempo. But watch inside, guys. This is a window where some offices are. I don't know if you see the details here, the, the beautiful uh, frescoes. Inside, you see the head, the drone of a woman. I don't know if you see because maybe it's too it's too dark i don't know very very beautiful lovely that's the symbol a face exactly here you have the the symbol of milano and that's just the toilet Buongiorno. So basically they say that here during the night so here it's full of cats and uh, of course during the night they close up the place but they say there is a ghost. Some people saw a ghost of a woman uh, without the head uh, walking here. 
there are ghost stories. I think being here during the night, it can be an adventure, I guess. Here one night. But outside restaurant, yes. Inside too, yes. Ciao. Spooky, yes. <laughs> Spooky, but you know, maybe very fun. You know the why the um, in the in the brick walls uh, the the holes are for the air. It's a kind of ventilation. Was a kind of ventilation in the past, and that's the last work of Michelangelo, La Pietà, Ronda, La Pietà Rondanini, here. I think it's very, very hot today. What is it? What is it for a building? I don't know what I don't understand what you're saying. So inside here, may, this is the La Pietà Rondanini, last work of Michelangelo. It's not, uh, I mean, it's not um, unfinished. It's just the idea of Michelangelo before, um, you know, at the end of his life, he realized that maybe the body, you know, maybe the body traps, our body traps the soul. And so he started to create shapes more free. I mean, different from the past. If you see in uh, St. Peter, the first work of Michelangelo, the first Pietà, it's perfect. The last one, it's different, but not because he couldn't finish. It's just his idea was changing. È pazzesco, sì, veramente. Sembra un'opera contemporanea. Incredible, right? No, it's not a very cheap work. It's a really incredible transformation. It's a philosophical transformation of the artist. At the beginning, he his work were full of details. At the end of his life, he wanted to show just the essence, the soul, not the details, you know? Not anymore. He was a genius. He, I really love Michelangelo. And we are about centuries ago, the artist transformation, it's true. <laughs> 